All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our 2022 Seaborn LX22 LE trim. I didn't have a whole lot of information about this boat on the internet as far as is this a good boat or is this a bad boat. Um, so hopefully this will help people out, help some of you people out here if you guys are watching this. Uh, to let you know, this is my first personal boat. This is our family's first personal boat. So with that being said, maybe our opinions might be, my opinion anyways, as I'm doing this video is gonna be a little bit, I guess maybe narrow, just because we don't have a bunch of boats to, uh, to compare you, to compare it to, other than just looking them, looking for them and shopping with them. Uh, most of my experience on a boat is gonna come from a company boat. And so therefore a lot of the options that I may wanna do or not do on the boat aren't really going to be my decision for it. So this is the first time actually having to go through and make some decisions. This is its second trip. Now we've had it on when we first got it. I believe the sim rads told us it had two minutes on the motor. Well, after two trips, I believe we we're at, if I remember correctly, like two hours, two hours, 30 minutes, not very short, not very long run, just quick runs. Everything's doing well. Obviously it's a brand new boat, so really shouldn't have any problems. Nothing has come up right up off the top of my head to where I've just had like the moment of instant regret. So let's go compartment by compartment, give you the layout of the boat. And then we'll finish it up with some of my thoughts that I've had about it. As you can see, it's going to be my spider's web of ropes and no, no chain and an anchor. Uh, our first boat, still getting stuff, still buying stuff. Like they said, boat stands for break out another thousand. I haven't made it to the thousand mark yet, so I still got some more stuff I got to buy. Insulated fish boxes. We got little drains in the back. bunch of water in there. I got to get them out. She was trying to dry that out over the last couple of days. This is not a dry storage area here in the floor. My fenders, second anchor for obviously sandbar usage. Another live well right up here in the front. Nice little seat up front. Live wells insulated. It has able the ability to draft raw water up to keep your bait alive during your trip. This trim of boat, obviously, as you can see, center console boat. So usually, a lot of its primary usage is going to be for fishing. Although, however, this is a version of the center console which is a little bit more family friendly as. We've got the seat backs right here. And you're now let me close these things up for you. And give you the view from the outside. So going back to this port side, these latches lock if you need some additional security and using this as a dry storage area. As well that notice these sna snaps here. Ugh. Notice these snaps here. This side as well. Pads going up here, blending here. Obviously, you won't be able to, you're going to lose access to your insulated fish boxes here. But however, we just go on a cruise up and down the river or across the bay or whatever body of water that you're using. You're going to be able to sit in a little bit of comfort here other than just sitting on the hard plastic. Now, the uh, thoughtful part the Seaborn does for you is there's a gap right here, allowing you to be able to use space to be able to walk up here without tracking, hopefully, any type of mud, dirt, sand, or whatever, and stepping across your cushions to get up to the front of the boat seeing all that stuff so cup holders right here cup holes right here whatever you happen to be dranky drinking on should it spill and the unfortunate event if it spills drains right in the bottom of all the cup holders here and it will just drain out of the bottom of the cup holder right on the deck out of the back of the deck onto the self bailing deck as i guess it is being because it's calling itself so going down here to the starboard side, we've got rod holders. There's no lack of rod holders on this boat. And as well, there is no lack of places to put your sippy cup. More rod holders. 
more rod holders. Areas to store your rods. More areas to store your rods. More rod pull holders, however you want to call it. They're there. Now the rear of the boat, however you want to call this, your, your dive, uh, what am I saying, your dive area, your swim area, um, ladder for you to be able to ease of access getting into and or off of the boat. There are more pads here. So this has a business version that you can run or you can have a comfort version. You can toss down some of the pads. I'll show you where the pads are stored here in a moment. Now under here, more insulated fish box. See, drain plug here, more insulation up here. I guess words that we're using are the sea breeze box. Haven't used them yet in this in any capacity, really, other than there's there so far. Access to batteries, bilge. And at the bottom of my leaning post or just nice casual seats as they can be folded up or down based on whatever scenario you want to insert into here we'll get into that storage area as well more of an access area if anything underwater lighting hopefully you saw that in the rear there are two lights at the stern of the boat in between the motor they come up green I say the color is on here just because I don't know if you, there is an ability to change them or not. Still new to the boat, there may be a, an option to be able to change them somehow. I just don't personally know what they are. Uh, storage, that lights up the storage compartment in here where we could, if wanted to, place a little porta potty in here, like as you can as see. see. And then also the rest of my Coast Guard required life jackets and so on and so forth are still down there right now until I get a good old fashioned, some sort of tea bag. Accessory, this one doesn't work. This one does. This one will allow my radio, AM, FM, Bluetooth to head unit to be able to work. Uh, marine gray Jensen, as you can hopefully be able to see over here, does pretty well. Uh, four speakers in total, two over here in the console, two to the front of the boat. 12 volt cigarette, as well as USB ports here. Followed next by more storage in this console area. Not a very large box, both the overhead and this box are dry boxes. Should be able to keep, well, I mean, I wouldn't know how you get wet, get all the way wet into here, but there's a USB port and an auxiliary end port that you have the options of being able to use in here. More sippy cup holders, of course, in this area, hopefully they are all non-alcoholic beverages. Don't boat and drink. Kill switch, ignition switch, trim tabs, most of the usual basics you'll have in here. So far, what I've been using this for is just my uh, my flippy flappy holder. Um, my shoes line up in there basically more often than not. Right through here where you can see some of this black hulking going around here. Uh, the fuel tank is right up under here. It holds 91 gallons. These are the battery kill switches that you've been seeing here for the last couple seconds. Already pre-wired for a trolling motor, crossover, or I believe the old school terminology for it was parallel versus it being in series if it's an off house battery, or engine battery. You know the guys, the operations for this really in brief. Another live well back here as well as a spout where it comes in at this is the overflow so it'll just keep circulating uh raw water in to keep your bait alive nice little led light for you down here still showing you brand new so i haven't had a chance to get this hose out it connects right back here drains for the deck on both sides now up to the 
very best part of the boat. Right here where the business is done, the driving. <clears throat> Tilting steering wheel. Throttles, obviously. Wrote myself a bunch in uh, overhead storage into the T-top area. Uh, it is a hard top, not canvas, which is nice because we don't have to worry about dry riding of any fabrics. Aft spreaders. And then whilst I'm thinking about it, let me just go shoot right back up here to the front of the T-top and we have a forward spreader. This little uh, vent right here is for the horns that are installed in here. Map lighting, courtesy lighting. All those buttons are right here as well as the breakers are right here for them. Uh, Obviously, if you have problems with your breakers going off on a regular basis, please see your marine mechanic. If you are a marine mechanic, uh, you, know, you know what to do. So, quick run of all of our options that are here on this boat. A lot of them are self-explanatory. Fresh water is not equipped on this boat. Uh, I don't know if I can come back later and add fresh water on here or fresh water storage tank. Not exactly sure. Elect. Elect. Electronics. Because there's a certain amount of the sim rats they're both go sevens these will run with just the engine battery on which we'll get to that in a second however a lot of the information as far as what's going on mechanically with the boat let's just say for instance the fuel levels won't come through in this until the electronics are turned on uh courtesy lighting which is all on the floor let's take a quick little second and go look at that it is blue lighting on the floor comes up pretty nice at the night time notice it here side of the console port starboard there we go flip this thing around you guys I see my double chin let's get a better angle let's get that upwards angle there we go no more double chin so hopefully this helps you out just going and figure out what direction you're gonna go with a boat uh, Seaborne, I believe they've been making this type of boat for the last 25 years. I believe CRI, the company, has been making the Sundance boat for, I believe it was 28 years now. Um, I haven't had a problem with the boat, but like I said earlier, this thing has a couple of hours on it in the water. We're only on our second trip, so it shouldn't have any problems as of this point. So hopefully that points you at least in one direction. Then I can't tell you that this thing's been horrible from day one. Hopefully they're going to make some more videos for you to help you out with making a decision. So that way you can kind of get a, okay, the first couple of times he was in there, but how much uh, has that has improved? How much has it uh, declined since that time period? Hopefully everything's going to be great with this thing. It's going great so far. I don't have any instant regret about buying this boat. It's been a joy and a blast and a blessing to have as of so far. Um, I really can't think of anything that I would off the top of the head that I would like to change with the boat. It's got, that was it, eight feet, six inches wide. Um, and it's, it's fairly stable as far as, I mean, a... a an object sitting on the water can be. Mm, I, I just I just can't think of anything off the top of my head right now that's uh, that's been an issue. I, I can't give you a, um, and I'm very sure you can look on the website, I'll give you a top rated speed. I can't tell you what my max speed has been because you know I, we're still in the break-in period. I haven't run it to that level here in a little bit. I will, as it says in the break-in uh, procedures, I can do it for no more than five minutes. So hopefully he'll be able to get out of the water and really open her up, see what this old gal can do. Um, so hopefully this helps. Um, oh yeah, and I would like to mention that I am not paid by anyone to do this, just doing this on my own free time. So uh, not sponsored by Seaborn at all, but however, if uh, you know, Seaborn, if you guys wanna, you know, sponsor a guy random or whatever, I can, uh, can be that person for you, we'll take money. Uh, uh, if I remember correctly, I think this guy has a six year warranty. Please do your research, just double check what I'm saying. I don't have the ability to, or know how to come back and add this in in a video later on. Uh, you know, do your own independent research. So this points you uh, in a direction is just to give you just some more information about a seaborne boat if that happens to come up in your searches for looking at a boat. 
Um, hopefully, the plan is to try and make a couple other uh, smaller videos just to kind of show you some of the feature spots. This is like lights or even just working the trim tabs, really. I mean, let's, you know, as I was looking at the directions, there's even more objects on trim tabs than I ever really realized until having my own personal boat. Um, either way, Godspeed. Be safe out there in the water. You guys have a good day.